This segment of the Pasture Soil Health Project video series will introduce the work of Brian Moyer in Bradford County, Pennsylvania. Brian has a 50 cow mixed dairy herd of Hairshires, Holsteins, Dutch Belts, Jerseys, and Linebacks. His herd grazes on approximately 70 acres of fenced pasture, and Brian incorporates several acres of fenced woodland for shade during the summer. Brian and his family have been using rotational grazing practices since 1991 and have been on this farm since 2001. I did have some good pastures where I came from and how things were going to grow here with a different soil type and climate. Um, that was challenging knowing how much feed I was going to get off of them. Uh, laying out the pastures wasn't bad because it was all temporary. Uh, it was the previous owner, he was more, I would say, for lack of a better word, conventional minded. I mean, he grew a lot of corn, I rotated his hay crops, and uh, pretty much had an exercise lot for his cattle. And so when I came in, I had to reseed some of the corn crops. I put some fall cover crops in and then graze them the following spring. The hay fields I left, I left them alone, didn't plow them, I just interseeded. And so it's been, you know, building the pastures up, hay fields aren't pastures, so it's been time consuming that way. Brian's pasture is primarily comprised of orchard grass, bluegrass, red and white clover, festoleum, ryegrass, and timothy. He uses different species in the pasture as part of his effort to build the organic matter content. I would like to, to actually monitor organic matter on this particular farm because I think that in the long run that'll be what, what gives me the, the uh, tonnage I need for grazing, what'll hold the moisture, and at this point I'm not sure if I'm making progress. So, I mean, I think I am, but every year seems to be different. Um, so, yeah, it would be good to monitor that and, and see if I am making progress, and that way I can change what I'm doing. So. A 2004 soil test completed on Brian's pasture indicated a 3.7% organic matter content. Testing completed as part of this project demonstrates the success of Brian's efforts by showing that his pastures now range from 4.5% to 5.5% organic matter content. In the long term, Brian plans to consider possibilities for utilizing an on-farm pond for irrigation. For now, he'll continue managing his grazing system and improving the soil's organic matter content. For me, it's what I enjoy to do. So, I mean, I, I like the grazing part of it. It's, it's kind of a passion for me, and I do think it's, it's something that young people, if, if they see they can get started in farming and they don't have to buy all this expensive equipment, I think, um, and I do think people are leaning more towards being environmentally you know, conscious, and if you, you have a good grazing operation, that's about the most sound environmental farming practice you can come up with, in my opinion. So, but, uh, so I think you could get people to to get into farming a little more livestock farming if they took on the grazing you know part of it we will return and visit with brian again to see how he is progressing toward his goals please visit the capital rcnd website to learn more about the pasture soil health project and to discover all that is taking place at participating farms thank you for watching